Hi, this is Anil from Pristine. In today's session, we'll talk about one of the most important topics of CFA Level 1 exam, which is quantitative analysis. This topic carries a weight of 12%, so you will get 28 questions out of 240. In today's class, we will specifically target the four measurement scales and from my experience, I can assure you that you will definitely get one or two questions out of these four scales. So if you master these four scales right away, you will definitely get two or maybe more than two right answers out of those 28 questions. So let us start with the first one. The first one is the nominal scale, which classifies the things according to their names so it does not define any priority or any order so suppose in my class uh, bob is sitting here akash is sitting and dennis is sitting so these are the three names all right and i cannot say that the bob is more intelligent than dennis and dennis is more intelligent than akash so if I cannot say that, I have simply named these people. So this becomes a nominal scale, which is also coming from this word norm. So this is about the names only. They do not define any order. Do not define any order. Okay. So from the finance industries, suppose a particular fund is having different strategies okay, or different names. So those names will come under this nominal scale. The second one is the ordinal scale. And if you see these first three alphabet is saying ORD. So this defines the order. So you have the names also you have a particular order in them so I can say that there are heavy cars there are light cars and there are medium cars so you can name them heavy cars light cars and medium cars but you also know that there is some relationship in between these cars so heavy cars are the heaviest ones light cars are the lightest ones right so there is a order but you don't exactly know what is the weight of these cars so you cannot say that heavy cars is 100 kgs more than light cars or light cars are 50 kgs lighter than the medium cars so there is no quantitative information given here the only information that is given is that there is some order okay so in in finance you can say that the bond ratings bond ratings given to different bonds follow a ordinal scale because we know that the triple a bonds are secure than double a bond and double a are better than a bonds right but we are not defining any quantitative relationship i we are not defining that triple a have say one percent probability of default and double a is having six percent probability of default right so this is just a qualitative information given to us right the third one is the interval scale here the order is mentioned but also the intervals between two different parameters is also defined so here the best example is the temperature scale so here if I if I talk about a Celsius scale so it will have 0 degree centigrade here somewhere here suppose is 50 degree centigrade and 100 degree Celsius right so here I can always say that 100 degree centigrade is hotter than 50 degree centigrade and 50 degree centigrade is hotter than 0 degree centigrade. So this is one information which comes in the ordinal scale 
second information that this these numbers are giving me is that the difference in the temperature between these two is equal to the difference in the temperature between these two so, so suppose this is uh, a this is b and c so difference between a and b's temperature is exactly equal to the difference of c and b's temperature so i can say b minus a is equal to c minus b right so this is defined so if the intervals are defined here we call that as an interval scale so in CFA level 1 exam, this is important thing to note that whenever they will ask you an interval scale, they will always take an example of temperature scale. Okay. So if any kind of temperature is given to you, mark the interval scale as the answer. All right. So the last scale is the ratio scale. Here, the ratio in this ratio scale, the order is defined, the interval is defined, and also the ratios are also defined. So it, me it means that the ratio of C to B and the ratio of B to C is also defined. By defined I mean, suppose I have $10, mark is having $5, okay, and say LX is having say $20 so I can simply say that there is an order so LX LX is having more money than me and I am having more money than mark right the order is defined so this becomes an ordinary scale also an extra information is that I am having I am having five dollars more than mark and LX is having ten dollars more than me right so this makes it a interval scale as well because the intervals are defined here and the last thing here is I can also say that LX is having twice the money I'm having and I'm having twice the money Mark is getting right so here the ratios is also defined right so to to summarize we started with the nominal scale which is defined by this rectangle so in this nominal scale a small part would be ordinal scales where you can also define what's the order but only qualitatively so this is the ordinal scales and within the ordinal scale you will have an interval scale so in interval scales you can all uh, define the ordinal scale as well as the interval scale okay so you can define the ordinal scale means you can define the order also you can define the interval between two items and the last one which is a circle here order plus interval plus ratio is defined so all those three components are defined here whenever you get a question in CFA level 1 exam that question is normally based on either the interval scale or the ratio scale so keep that in mind Another distinction between these two scale is the definition of zero in both the scales. So here in the interval scale, a true zero, a true zero is not defined. What I what that what that means is that if you see a zero degree centigrade on a temperature scale, so you cannot say there is no temperature. So there is some temperature, right? But if you see a ratio scale so let me take an example of money so if i'm saying i'm having zero money it means i really don't have any money similarly if you have uh, another example of returns on this equity returns 
So if you are getting zero returns, means you didn't get any return. So that's the difference. So in the interval scale, zero is not defined. And the ratio scale, true zero point exists. All right. And whenever they ask you a question, you have to answer the refinest measure of scale applicable to that question. Okay. So with this background in mind, let us move to the questions now. So here we need to fill the tables with the corresponding scales. So first one is saying your names. So as I told you, the names follow the nominal scale, NOM, right, from the nominal scale. So this becomes the nominal weight of CFA level one candidates. So weight is uh, suppose I'm having a weight of 70 kg. Somebody's having a weight of say 60 kg. And uh, someone is having a weight of 120 kg. All right. So here the order can be defined. The interval is also defined and the ratio can also be defined. So suppose uh, this is not 70, but 30. So I can say this guy is twice this guy and this guy is twice than this guy right so this becomes a ratio scale because ratio is defined here and moreover if you see the true zero point if something is having no weight it means that thing does not exist right uh, the third one average temperature of Chicago in January so one of the most easy to find so this is uh, the interval scale because the ratio is not defined in the temperature scale. So as I told you, if they will ask you a question on interval scale, that has to be a temperature scale. Okay. So whenever you get a question on temperature scale, blindly mark interval scale. All right. Interest rates on corporate bond. Interest rates are do have an order. They do have a interval and they do have a ratio as well. Right. So it becomes a ratio. Heavy trucks, medium trucks and light trucks, only qualitative information is given. Intervals are not defined, right? So here it becomes a ordinal. So order is defined, but the interval is not defined. Average speed of SUVs. So average speed, speed is a 30 uh, miles per hour, 60 miles per hour, say 120 miles per hour. So order is defined, interval is also defined, and the ratio is also defined. So this guy is riding the twice than this guy, and this guy's speed is twice than this guy's, right? So it means this is a ratio scale. We have left this one, height of office buildings in Manhattan area. So height can be, see, as small as 10 feet height can be as small as 100 feet and 1000 feet so intervals are defined order are defined also the ratio is also defined so this again becomes a ratio scale right so the idea is whenever you get this kind of equation try to start from the nominal so you can remember a word noir it's a French word which means black so start from Neuer start from N then check for ordinal ordinality then check, check for the interval scale and at the last check for the ratio scale so if something is a nominal scale but it's not a ordinal so the answer would be nominal if something is ordinal and not interval so it becomes ordinal only and if something is simply interval and not ratio, so the answer would be interval scale, right? So we need to answer the refinest measure of the scale applicable to, to the parameters. Fine. So that is about these four scales. If you have any doubt, any query regarding these four scales, feel free to write me at anil at Dot com.
thanks for listening and i hope you have enjoyed the session and i hope to see you in the next session thank you